Hi guys, today we're going to be using Exure to create a slider. It's going to have a value at the top, a scrub underneath. You click on the scrubber, drag it left and right, and that controls the value. You can use it for things like volume control. Uh, I've used it in projects before when allowing customers to select different upfront payments or different lengths of a contract, adjusting opacity of an image or an, an overlay color, things like that. So this is what we will be making. Uh, we have a little scrubber sitting in its, in, its, uh, in its container, in its track. You click on it, you drag it, and the value at the top changes. Let's jump into Cure. First, let's add in the little track for the uh, for the scrubber. And let's make it 40 high around the edges so it just looks a bit nicer. Um, let's put it at 100, nice and round. Um, now we're adding in the scrubber, make it the same height as the as this track. Uh, give it a give it a fill color. Doesn't really matter. Um, also, I will give it a border of the same color as the as the track, so it sort of uh, sits nicely in there. Here we are. Obviously, we won't do anything now if we if we try to run it. So let's make this into a dynamic panel. Let's call it Scrubber. Go to Properties, on Drag. You want to select Move. Scrubber, so um, that widget there, and then in the drop down here, select with drag X. So that means that it will only move on the X axis rather than being able to move it every, anywhere you want it. Let's see how it works. Perfect. The only problem is it can go all the way across the S X axis, so we need to fix that. If you go back to the case. And here you have add boundary. I always uh, <laughs> mix these up so this might not work. And um, uh, we're basically saying that left has to be higher than something. And if uh, you remember, I put the the track at 100. So let's add 100, add another boundary, and then right is less than. Uh, I can't remember what it is right now, so I just need to go back and see. This is uh, 330 wide and sitting at 100, so that should be 440. Sorry, 430. So we're saying that uh, the little scrub, the little bubble can't go under 100 and it can't go higher than 430. Right, let's see if that works. Yep, perfect. So now what we want to do is uh, make sure that when you drag it, a value changes. So first of all, let's uh, let's add a value in there. Um, make it slightly larger. Let's call this value. Right, what we need to do now is insert a bunch of hotspots. And what we'll be telling it uh, is that when, whenever a scrubber is sitting over the top of a certain hotspot, the value here changes. So let's add a couple of, uh, couple of hotspots. We can make it just slightly wider than uh, and the scrubber, let's call it hot, uh, sorry, hotspot one. And another one. Depending on how you, how large your scrubber is, you can add as many as you want. I think that should be fine. And um, let's distribute them horizontally so they're all sitting there equally. Um, actually, I might even push that just a little bit over just to make sure that it uh, works nice. I need to rename these now so we know what uh, what they are. So now these need to sit 
just underneath the scrubber, but you can uh, you can have them under uh, sorry over the top of the of the track. Uh, let's lift them up a little bit so they cover the entire the entire scrubber. Uh, that should that should be fine. What we have to do now is just tell it that whenever we drag the scrubber and it sits on these hotspots, the value over here changes. So we need to add some more cases. Go on there, right click, add case. We need to add some conditions. So uh, here we are telling that when the area of a widget scrubber is over an, uh, the area of a widget hotspot one in this case to start off with, we are changing the text of the value to one. It's already one there. Click OK. So we have this uh, this case here now. Right click on it and change it to if. That will be for the for all the cases in the, in the future as well. Now with the case selected, copy it, paste it, and uh, you'll have to do it uh, as many times as you need to. So here we have uh, uh, another case, but it, it's exactly the same as the one that we just made there. So we need to edit it slightly. And here we say that when it's over hotspot two, the value here changes to two. Again, copy and paste it. Edit the condition to react to hotspot three and change the value to three. So let's just check if it's uh, if it's working. Looks like it is. The rest of them aren't working, so we just need to do uh, we just need to do the same thing for the rest of them. Copy paste. Right, all of them are done now, let's check. Perfect. So this is the way that I've done this couple of times now. Um, if there are better ways of doing it, and I'm sure there are, please let me know in the comments. Also, if you want me to do any other tutorials that you can think of, let me know. A um, couple of tips when doing this, please make sure that the hotspots are slightly wider than, uh, than the scrubber. It, it, it just makes it work a lot a lot smoother and also when you're placing the hotspots next to each other don't don't place them flush give it a couple of pixels uh, uh, breathing room right next to each other so um, so it doesn't confuse Azure a little bit because sometimes when they when they're sitting right next to each other the value can jump around quite quickly and it look a bit sort of jaggedy um, hope that was all clear and uh, it helps and thanks for watching guys